Hey guys, and welcome to my overview video of the Business as Usual Bistro. Well, I guess maybe this is a review. Um, I don't know. Review, overview, doesn't matter. Either way, I'm going to be showing you the Bistro and how everything works and whatnot. But um, in, for those of you who don't know, this is store content. And basically, it gives you the opportunity to run your own restaurant, which I think is really cool. And I have to admit, one thing that I really, really miss from The Sims 2 are the restaurants. Because in this game, you know, you go to restaurants all rabbit holes, and it, it's kind of boring. It's just boring. So you have this, and not only can you go eat here, but you can control it. Uh, we'll just ignore that. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah, <laughs> so you can eat here, you can uh, set the menu, hire chefs, che chefs, chefs, yes, all that. They can be, they usually start off as, what was it, line cooks or something, and you can promote them, and um, I believe you can set the quality of your food, the price, or markup or whatever, so yeah, there's all kinds of things that you can do. And um, basically, you don't have to buy the property or anything. As soon as you set it down in your town, you pretty much own it because you have control over it like the second it's in your town. So, no, you don't have to worry about buying the property or anything. If you put one of these in your town, you own it. Just think of it that way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys around here. Uh, the place is closed at the moment, but we'll have it open up soon. We'll have them all come here and... No, don't eat. Oh, you're cleaning up. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm a spaz. Sorry, I'm a little excited because I've been dying for like a restaurant or a business of some type. Kind of like this because it reminds me of The Sims 2 and I just love The Sims 2. So I'm really excited to see this in this game. But anyways, it's... Go away. <laughs> it's raining, so that kind of ruins this whole outdoor eatery. But yeah. So we have tables out here, and as you can see here are menus, and they're placed on all the t tables. Your sim, or a sim, will come in, sit down, and place an order. They'll read the menu, a chef will come out, and they'll take their order. We'll take their order. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Sometimes it can be kind of slow. I've had, had it where the chefs would take like forever to come out, but you know. Um, I actually haven't playing, but I haven't been playing with this too long. Only about one some day, but yeah, chefs were kind of taking a little long. Then other times they were fast. But anyways, here's the kitchen area, and it's a uh, very fancy and slick and professional looking. And maybe it's just my graphics. No, I guess it's supposed to be the shiny. Okay, I thought the graphics were messing up because maybe they are messing up. This looks way too. I don't know, like one color, it's kind of weird. No, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. I really don't know. But yeah, so that's the kitchen area. And I'm pretty sure you could build your own bistro, or you set this down and you design it the way you want. Uh, what's to say the regular chef could not make it to work today? Adriana Har will be working the shift. Okay, whatever. That doesn't matter. So here's our chef coming in to start business. And up here we've got bathrooms. And this kind of little bar area for sink and stuff. There's nothing really special up here. I'm not sure if I want to add something or not. Maybe like a bar. A professional bar from late night or something. Another oven. I don't know. But yeah. So that's a nice little lounge area. And here's the restaurant, which I think needs more tables. Like inside. <laughs> There's too many outside, especially since it's all yucky weather and stuff. So yeah, I'll probably place more tables down and you can basically build any kind of restaurant you want. You can make a burger joint. You can make it some five star classy food deal. Anyways, I'm going to get my Sims over here. The only thing that kind of disappoints me about this store content, um, your Sims cannot, I mean your Sims can use the stoves and cook food, but as far as I know, I've tried and it hasn't worked, so I'm assuming your sims cannot. Uh, they cannot, like, work as chefs and take oh, orders sure. and serve food to customers. I was really hoping for that because I would love to have my sim be, like, a chef or a waitress or whatever. And uh, they even have these 
mm. like little outfits for the eatery, like little chef outfits and stuff. But I don't see the point of my Sims wearing that if they can't even, you know, be a chef. So that kind of sucks. Like I say, you can make food on it, but if you make food on it, you're making it for yourself. Um, you cannot make it for other people. You cannot serve the tables, as far as I know. I have not been able to accomplish that much. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that they would let us do that, but I guess not. Uh, here's some of the outfits that come, though. So maybe if you just want your Sims to look like chefs. Uh, this is one of them. It's ba Actually, this is basically the same thing. I, did, I changed the color on this one, but I did not change the color on that one. Uh, there was two different categories. They were two different colors. This was white, this red, but um, it's the same thing, so nothing different. Uh, there's one of the chef hats that come. I should have given him one, but I think there's um, two other ones. But that was just for males. I did not see anything for the females, sadly. Maybe I missed it, but um, I really just did not see it. Uh, and then that's the female chef outfit. She kind of looks like she's wearing some oriental thing. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, we'll go ahead and have them eat if you guys want to see the whole thing in action. They're full, though. You know what? Whatever. They could put on a little weight. and won't hurt them. I'll have them exercise it off later. So let's see. She's going to order. It's still kind of early. Hmm. I think I'm going to have her do fruit parfait. He's going to be weird, and he's just going to have frog legs. Oh, yeah, you can set the menu any way you want, by the way, guys. Just so you know. I think we're just going to do uh, French dishes. Yeah, why not? I added a lot of French dishes, but I've added some other stuff, too, that kind of go all over the place. But here, let's uh, take a look. Um, Oh, chef quality for a lot. Yeah, as you guys can see... You can promote them. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and promote this guy here. I'm going to promote her. Um, it does, I believe it costs money. So, yeah, it all depends if you have money, which I do. So, yeah. Um, I don't quite remember if you get money, like, every week or every day. Is it every day? I don't know. I think it's every week. But you do get money. Just remember, you place one of these in your town. You're going to get money as soon as there's chefs working there and stuff. So, yeah. And, um, there's the food markup. I'm going to leave it as is just for right now. Set hours for a lot. Uh, you can have 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. You can have 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Kind of sucks you can't adjust the times a little more. Like, I would love to have the times from 8 to 9. But... There's no option for that. So if you want to do something like that, you're just going to have to set it to 8 a.m., 6 p.m., and then wait till like, 11 o'clock and s switch it to 11 a.m., 9 p.m. So, yeah, there's ways to work around stuff like that. Um, You can fire chefs. You can set menu for a lot. I believe, yeah, I believe I can add some stuff to my menu now that they're higher mm -hmm. chefs so, which I'm going to do actually so we're gonna do waffles and veggie rolls lobster vegetarian lobster <laughs> vegetarian grilled salmon I could make this all veggie place but I won't cuz yeah we gotta get some meat gotta get some meat okay no one wants tofu steak oh, I'm getting rid of that <laughs> sushi um stuffed no I don't want soy turkey Stu surprise. Spaghetti. Shrimp cocktail. I don't know what that is. Pulled pork sandwich. Potato and truffle. So yeah. Um yeah. As line cooks you get basic stuff like um hot dogs, you know. Um as you uh what's the word that I am looking for? I feel like a total idiot for going blank on this. Ah, uh, promote? Wait, no, what was I talking about? Oh my god, I am so sorry. I'm having, like, blank outs. But anyways, um, okay, I'm just gonna say that the higher the promotion the chef gets, the higher quality food you get to add to your menus. If that makes sense. I believe that makes sense. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm a little out of it. I'm kind of... 
kind of just all over the place. And if I don't know what I'm talking about, then you just ignore me. You just ignore me. <laughs> but yeah. So anyways, that's basically what I was trying to say. The higher the promotion, the higher quality food. Like fancy stuff like um, lobster thermidor and all that. So yeah. Um, what's grasshopper pie? I don't think I know what's in that. I'm not gonna add that. <laughs> Frog legs. French toast? Ooh. Fish and chips. I think this is good, what we have here. Okay, so that's our menu. Awesome. Where's she? She's going to the bathroom. Boy, are you eating again? What the heck? He's eating again. Boy, you're gonna get fat. Uh, I know. Okay, I did sure. notice this was a problem oh, from yesterday when I had my Sims eating here. Mm. If you send them to this restaurant, they tend to eat more than once. No matter how full they are, they just eat and eat and eat. They will keep ordering. So if you don't want that to happen, you better monitor them and kick them out. I'm too lazy to kick them out. You know what? I really don't care if they get fat. If they get fat, then as far as I'm concerned, that's their problem. That is all on them. So yeah, anyways, that's basically it. I showed you guys all the options, um, the clothes, except for a few chef hats. But you can see that if you purchase the stuff in store. Um, I believe it's $20, this whole thing. Yeah, it's $20. Um, I don't know if it'll ever go on sale, but for right now, it's 20 bucks, Which I guess isn't too bad, because you get a pretty good setup here. For twenty dollars, and um, on top of that, you have all these new. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Actions? No, that's not the word, but I'll just say that. <laughs> Actions. Um, gameplay. Maybe some new gameplay. I guess I could say gameplay. But yeah, so that's ba basically it. Um, I would give this about like a four out of a five. I can't say it would be, you know, five stars worthy because it did not quite reach my expectation expectations. I think it would have been um, a lot more interesting if they had added in, you know, more ability to run it. Well, not run it as a business. You are running it as a business, but to work in it. I mean, I think it'd be really cool if your Sims could be waiters and chefs and all that. So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. But other than that, it's pretty cool. You still get to run a restaurant. You still get another way to make money. So, yeah. So, anyways, I give it 4 out of 5. I highly recommend it. It definitely adds something new to your Sims games. And it gives you something, you know, if you're bored of saying the rabbit hole just to eat dinner. So, yeah. Um, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. And I think I'm going to play with my business a little more because this is pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.